Famous Guitars Episode 4, and for this one, I want to do something a little special because it's his birthday this month, and for a time, one of the most recognizable Les Paul users in the world wasn't actually playing a Gibson. That's right, I'm talking about this guitar right here. It is Slash's Appetite for Destruction guitar, and it was used on the album, playing some of the most iconic songs from Guns N' Roses. And the band's guitar player, of course, his name is Slash, and his birthday, I believe, is on the 22nd this month. If not, I'll put it up here what the actual date is. Um, but he emerged as one of the most influential guitarists of the 1980s and the 1990s, and harkened back to his classical blues based rock of the 1960s. And ironically, this vintage looking Les Paul uh, that Slash is using on Appetite of Destruction is not actually a Gibson guitar. Yes, I'm looking down at my notes. I'm sure it's very obvious about this because there's a lot of details on this I don't want to miss. It's a replica that was made by Chris Daring of Music Works. Pretty fascinating stuff. A guitar store located in Renando Beach, California, um, the top of those most sought-after original Les Pauls, features highly figured book-matched maple top uh, with no cherry tint around the edges of the top. So this specific guitar right here, the uh, serial number on the back of the car was actually a uh, car guitar. Yeah, I'm in the car business. Of the guitar uh, was actually stamped on the back of the guitar like an original 1959 Gibson, uh, but the neck profile is actually that of a 58. So that's pretty interesting. A uh, special sound of this guitar comes from a pair of Seymour Duncans, and uh, they are the black and white zebra uh, double coils and vintage electronics that the maker had in his shop. So, despite the fact that Slash's favorite Les Paul was a replica, his influence on sales and uh, retail of Gibson Les Pauls were so great that Gibson welcomed him to endorse uh, their 2010 models. So, and it included several different variations of the guitar, from the affordable, to the mid-range, to the I can't even afford to carry the guitar case for this thing. <laughs> So, some very fascinating things. You can read more about this article at www.guitarplayer.com. That's where I got the article from. It's a great read. Check them out. And like, share, and follow for more Famous Guitars. Happy birthday, Slash. <laughs>